Hello and welcome to News 9. I'm Nishtha and first up, a shocking case of a six-year-old being molested has come to light in the city. The incident is said to have occurred on Friday morning in Chamundi Nagar near RT Nagar. The victim was attending a class at a madrasa when the accused, her teacher, is said to have sexually assaulted her. Well, a shocking case coming to light from RT Nagar there where a six-year-old was allegedly sexually abused by her own teacher. The six-year-old was attending a madrasa in the vicinity when she complained to her mother about the kind of treatment that was meted out to her. A case has been registered. ಅಗ್ಬರಿ <laughs> Well, my colleague Akshita joins us with all the latest details. Well, Akshita, a horrific case indeed, even before we could get over the UP gang rape and the Anikal uh, rape case. Here we see yet another rape case, sexual assault case, I beg your pardon, of a child. Absolutely, uh, Anishita. Shocker to say in the least. And what's uh, all the more uh, uh, disgusting, you could say, is that uh, it looks like the authorities did not decide to take action immediately. They tried to stall the issue. And in the process, Imtiaz, the accused in this case, has managed to make a run for it. He is uh, currently absconding, is uh, what we understand. In fact, the parents immediately after the incident took place, remember this took place on Friday morning, is uh, what we understand. That as soon as the six-year-old girl uh, went and informed her parents, they immediately went ahead and approached the madrasa as well as the masjid authorities. But it is said that uh, both uh, the madrasa as well as the masjid failed to take action immediately. They kept trying to stall the issue, even tried uh, to protect uh, uh, their organization, considering, of course, their reputation is at stake with such an incident coming to light. And that's when Imtiaz managed to make a run for it. In fact, uh, we understand that in a complaint against Imtiaz, they've also named the madrasa as well as the masjid officials, uh, considering, of course, that they failed to take timely action. In fact, the parents also state that the masjid officials were trying to protect the identity of uh, the culprit, but a very uh, uh, shocking incident coming to light. As you mentioned, uh, Nishita, we've seen so many shocking cases coming to light over the last uh, one or two weeks, uh, and with this one, uh, yet another incident uh, coming to light. Uh, fortunately, of course, a complaint has been filed. We're talking about a six-year-old girl uh, there, uh, Nishita, someone who probably didn't even know uh, that what is happening is wrong, but she did manage to realize realized that something was amiss. She did realize that this was not uh, normal. She went ahead and told her parents. Her parents did not hesitate in going ahead and questioning uh, the madrasa. No action taken by the authorities there, which is when they decided that enough is enough. They will go ahead and approach uh, the police. Uh, to give you a little more background to exactly what happened, uh, Nishita, it is said that uh, the victim, the six-year-old girl, was attending a class at uh, this madrasa when the accused, uh, Imtiaz, who is her teacher, is said to have uh, sexual assaulted her. It is understood that uh, he hails from Bihar and uh, this is not the first time he's targeted right. young children in his class is what we understand. So yet another incident, Nishita, but not the first time Imtiaz has done this. So all the more why he needs to be brought to book, why justice needs to be meted out. But will that be done is what we'll have to wait and watch. The police are currently investigating the case. They've launched a manhunt of sorts for uh, Imtiaz, but uh, considering that he had enough time, it's almost been a day since the incident, two days since the incident took place, Nishita. So he has had enough time uh, to go ahead and uh, abscond. So, of course, we'll have to wait and watch to see if the authorities do manage to nab him, Nishita. Right. Uh, thank you for joining us with all those uh, details, Akshita. Let's uh, listen to what the victim's mother had to say. Meanwhile, no law or amendments to the law seem to serve as deterrent for the perverted rapists as one more heinous case of rape and murder has come to light from the outskirts of Bengaluru. And the victim this time is a nine-year-old child. Close on the heels of the twin gang rape and murder case in UP that shocked the nation. Another shameful incident close home in Anikal has come to light. 
An innocent nine-year-old was brutally raped and murdered by a teenager. The little girl had come from Yadgir to spend summer holidays with her father, who is an employee of the BMTC. Since the schools have reopened, she was all set to return in a couple of days. But cruel fate had something else in store for this little kid. The nine-year-old girl was raped and murdered yesterday by a 19-year-old pervert who happened to be her neighbor. Well, the heinous crime has occurred in Kirti layout in Anekal on the outskirts of Bengaluru. Look at the heart-wrenching scene here. The family of the child is wailing inconsolably. The father and mother and the young sister of the victim are unable to come to terms with the terrible loss. The girl's father, Chauhan, is a conductor by profession and is serving the BMTC for the last eight years. His family lives in Yadgir but had come to Bengaluru during the summer vacations. He has five children, four girls and one boy. The deceased girl was his second daughter. Trishul, a 19-year-old neighbor and a garment factory worker, befriended the girl. Last evening, he took the girl to an abandoned school about one and a half kilometers away from the town under the pretext of giving her mangoes. The school, which is located in a deserted place, is a hub of illegal activities. The pervert Trishul then raped the child and killed her before returning home alone. As the victim was not spotted around after the sunset, her panicked mother began searching for her. Her younger sister, who had seen her going with Rishul, reported the same to her mother. Kajol's mother then informed the matter to her husband, who was on duty, and the Hebbogodi police. The police rushed to the location and detained Rishul, who is then believed to have confessed to his crime. <laughs> Unused building on the day, the Muraji Desha School and the Ariel version in the Ilanata. A building Katkombando, the toilets nearly open, but toilets nearly rape murder. Rape murder in the summer, the least suffocation, our health precar, suffocation in the death agit and the health. Bleeding agit, just the bleeding agit, moving the no bleeding agit. So you body shift murder, ship murder. The Morarji Desai residential school on the outskirts of Anekal has been abandoned for the last five to six years. Hence, for miscreants like Trishul, it has become a haven to commit crimes. The residents allege that officials of the education department too are responsible for the crime to happen as despite their pleas, they had not taken custody of the school building. <laughs> The increasing number of crimes against women is certainly disturbing. The minors too are not spared. The governments and the statements of the politicos keep changing, but the fate of vulnerable women and children remains the same. N. Manjunath for News 9, Bengaluru. And well, a week on and the contentious photo controversy involving top cop Dr. Ravindranath is yet to die down. In fact, in the backdrop of all the mudslinging, the CID has stepped up investigations into the matter. Here's a report. CID steps up investigations. Even as contentious ADGP Dr. Ravindranath case is causing turmoil in the state, CID has gone on an interrogation spree. The investigation agency has summoned the tainted cop for the second session of interrogation today. However, things didn't go as per plan. ADGP failed to appear before CID. Yes, ADGP Ravindranath, who has been waiting for his turn to record his statement, was sent a notice by the investigating agency to appear before them today at 2.30 p.m. But the former KSRP ADGP did not appear for interrogation. Ravindranath's family said that the top cop is exhausted from yesterday's Padayatra and thus will not be appearing before the investigation agency today. They further added that the ADGP had sought permission from the DG for his absence. 
Ravindranath said that he went to the CID office himself yesterday, yet he was not interrogated. I visited the CID office yesterday and sought the investigating officers to interrogate me. They didn't pay heed to my request and asked me to return. But the notice they sent me early this morning summoning me for interrogation by noon has distressed me. Meanwhile, the complainant was interrogated by the investigation agency last evening, maintaining a veil of secrecy. She was summoned following her allegations against Rabindranath of clicking her pictures without her permission in a coffee shop. The CID is said to have recorded her statement as a part of investigation. Today, City Police Commissioner Raghavendra Aratkar was also summoned by the CID. Raghavendra Aratkar was summoned following Dr. Rabindranath's complaint against him accusing of caste discrimination. Rabindranath had also accused Aratkar of conspiring against him. Today, the CID officials reportedly recorded Aratkar's statement on the contentious case. Yesterday, CID sleuths had also questioned Inspector Ravi, who has been mentioned in the Ravindranath's counter complaint. Now, all eyes will be set on Monday when the Ravindranath will appear before the CID. Will the contentious case see details emerge tomorrow? We'll have to wait and watch. Nagendra for News 9, Bengaluru.